everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well if you're tuning in for the first time you're absolutely welcome and if you're coming back thank you so much for your support if you haven't already subscribed please make sure you do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video so all right let's jump into this video today's video is about the ariana grande cloud perfume is this the best celebrity fragrance Is it similar to Burberry Heart or Baccarat Rouge 540? Hmm, let's find out. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing the fights, even though there's over. It's the 100 mil. It comes in the box like this. To be honest with you, it actually... If people didn't talk about this perfume, I probably wouldn't get it because actually the packaging looks very cheap um, and very teenage-like type of perfume. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, so that is very off-putting to be honest with you. I think you should have done better with the packaging. If I come the bottle, another packaging fell for me. It just does look so cheap she could have done away with this cloud again maybe she's trying to go with the name of the actual perfume so she has this cloud but to be honest i don't like it i actually don't even put it together with the perfume like this it sits in the box where it belongs again the bottle nothing fancy just basic shape of a cloud there cheap looking again but um we're not talking about the bottle today it's all about the juice inside or should i say the actual perfume itself right so i've tried so many celebrity perfumes so the question obviously to uh the video like i asked was is it the best um celebrity perfume on the market i would say yes absolutely yes the second best one that i've tried is the rihanna Reb Rebuffer, I think it's called. I'll I'll leave a picture on the screen. That's probably the second best one. Or the Beyonce's Britney Spears does come in into maybe third place. Or the Paris Hilton Beyonce's Lady Gaga named them. No, there's nothing better than this. But as we know, since the Baccarat Rouge was released, there's been a lot of dupes towards that perfume. Um, so I'm not surprised that she took inspiration from that i'm not sure but yeah there's been so many similar perfumes to that one uh, on the market and uh, right enough of that so let's see what this is about so mm, this is beautiful oh opening notes it does come off very sweet very very sweet and very fresh um top notes um it does mm, it does smell amazing it's absolutely amazing it smells beautiful um top notes are praline pear lavender uh you did get the whipped cream uh vanilla vanilla you get the whipped cream vanilla coconut and musk and wood it comes off as a fun a fun a flirty sexy type of perfume um definitely say it's probably best worn uh colder months more evening type of wear uh unfortunately the lasting power to this is very 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 short um you probably can get six to maybe between six and eight hours wear from this but i mean for the price compared to what this perfume has been compared to for the price i think it's it's worth it um if you don't want to spend the big money uh, i'm not sure what it retails for I'll, I'll i'll leave the price um on the screen but definitely cheaper than the baccarat rouge as well as the burberry heart Beverly Heart is yeah definitely on the cheaper side so for for how long it lasts I think it's worth it so um I do pick up the open notes you do get this sweet sweet scent it comes up very strong but dries down to a pretty moderate protection 
um it's not a bad thing the fact that you can it doesn't sort of disappear within like two three hours of wear the fact that you can still smell it for a good six to almost six between six and eight hours i think it's still okay so you will still get um you will still smell it for that number of time but it's just compared to how strong it is when you in the opening notes to what it becomes when it dries down that sort of strength uh from opening to dry down is where it loses it for me but it's absolutely still a beautiful perfume i would definitely purchase another one um i am liking it with another perfume i'm going to talk about in my next video mixing the two uh oof, mixing those two um if you want to keep an eye on that video it's going to come immediately after this one um layering with that one absolutely perfection if i could make a perfume of my own i would mix this and the other one i'm going to talk about um so keep an eye on that video like i said so you can watch it and i don't smell i don't smell much of the lavender but in the dry down you do get the coconut the coconut and the whipped cream blend which gives it that warm uh warm richness and flirty sort of uh, tones to it so but i don't think i am getting the lavender but you do get the vanilla as well definitely the vanilla again that's with the dry down but the opening definitely is very sweet and very fresh and light and airy i had to compare the two with the baccarat rouge and the um the cloud um they do they are quite similar in such a way that they do come off and come off very sweet in their opening notes however i still feel like the dry down is slightly um different in that with the with the cloud it sort of dries down to a uh, warm cozy sweet uh, creamy type of scent whereas the baccarat rouge does dry down again to sweet but not too sweet more on the saltier side um and then obviously it dries down to oriental sort of scent so it actually screams expensive um so i definitely would say I prefer the Baccarat Rouge than to this, but if you're not willing to spend the money on the Baccarat Rouge, this is your closest, um, the closest bet or the closest or the most similar one to that one. Like I said, I've bought the Burberry Heart, I'm yet to try it. If it does come, as soon as it comes, I'll give a review on that one and then see if they are in comparison to all three perfumes. Um, yeah that people seem to um, say about them beautiful perfume i would definitely recommend if you for the price point uh, again flirty sweet beautiful smells really amazing um like i said i found a perfume that i am layering this with and when i've done that the projection i get a lot of compliments i do get compliments even when i wear this like i say probably best one in the night and i've worn it in the daytime is when i've layered with the other perfume which i've said i'll talk about in my next video and when i've done that it's absolutely beautiful i definitely definitely get compliments i get asked what i'm wearing and it's actually the mixture um of those two uh perfumes but yeah so let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about it whether you've got this i know there's an intense version of this the reviews on the intense people have said it's more muskier it's more richer um and longevity is a lot longer on that one uh but in terms of this better smell they still say this is still the best um but I don't think I will bother buying the intense version. I think this is enough. Uh, um, if I've got the money, maybe I will. But I think this this is good enough. With celebrity perfumes, I think one is normally enough, I would say. Um, and yeah, yeah, because they're always hit or misses with those sort of perfumes. And um, yeah, so I'll stick with this one. All right, thanks for watching. And I hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.